and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas, and we are using number 36 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a company that's spending 32% of its annual budget developing a new machine, and we need to turn that into a fraction. So here is our question. How do we turn a percent into a fraction? Well, it's several steps, and there's actually a step in between. You can't go straight from a percent to a fraction. What we are wanting to do is first we're going to go from a percent we're going to change that to a decimal, which is a fairly simple step. Then we'll go from the decimal into the fraction. So let's start with 32%. How we change a percent to a decimal is you, change, you move the decimal place two times. You're always moving it two times, whether you're going from decimal to percent or percent to decimal. It just depends on which form you're starting with. You're going to move it two times to the left. So when you're going from a percent to a decimal, you are going to go two times to the left. Now there is no decimal that currently sits in 32 percent. It's not like 3.2 or 32.5. So when you don't have a decimal, it always goes after the ones place. So we're going to say 32. Let's go ahead and drop that percentage sign. And that's where that decimal would go. It would be 32.0 is really what it would be. We're going to move it twice to the left. Once twice. So now it's 0 0.32. Let's go ahead and put a zero in the ones place just to make it look a little bit better. So we're going to have to make sure we understand here that 32 percent, remember 100 percent is just one. So 100 percent is just one full uh, picture if we're shading something in. So 32 percent is not even half of it. 50 percent is half. And so that's why 32 percent is equal to 0 0.32 or 32 hundredths because it's not even quite one whole. Now that we've got that, turning it into a fraction is pretty easy. What we do is we just say the fraction out loud and we write what we hear. So this is not necessarily 0 0.32. That's not saying it correctly. This right here is the final spot when we say that it's the hundredths spot. And so what we need to do is when we read this, we say 32 hundredths, 32 hundredths. So that's why going from a decimal into a fraction is always going to result in a tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, whatever, because that's what these place values are. So this right here is a tenth, but we don't necessarily need that. We always go to the furthest spot to the right. It's 32 hundredths, but that answer does not show up anywhere. Take a look, F, G, H, and J, it's not over there. The reason being is whenever you get a fraction, now you have to simplify or reduce whatever your teacher calls it. So we need to look to see if we can turn this into an equivalent fraction that happens to be a little bit smaller. So when in doubt, let's start down here, divide by 2. They're both even. You might need to multiply, um, divide multiple times. We'll see. So 32 divided by 2. Whenever we're dividing, we divide straight across the numerators and the denominators, but we divide by something equal to 1. 2 halves is equal to 1, because whenever you multiply or divide anything by 1, it stays the same. It just looks slightly different. 32 cut in half is 16. 100 cut in half is 50. That is not one of the answers. The reason being, it could still be divided by 2, because look, they are both even. So 16 divided by 2, it's OK to reduce twice. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Now that's looking a little bit like it. And that is going to be our answer, H. Now, how could we have done this all in once? Well, take a look. You could have done 32 hundredths. If you multiply these two, what is 2 times 2? That's going to make 4. So that's what we could have divided by. If we knew that 4 went into 100 and 4 went into 32, that's going to be 8 and that's going to be 25. And so this is wrong because it just pulls up 32, and these other two are wrong as well. Answer is H.